Hi, and welcome to another creepy bio. It's now time to dive back into the world of Disney. Oh, and Pixar. That's right. We're going to talk about Randall Boggs from Monsters, Inc. Yeah, so here we go. Was first introduced to us in Monsters, Inc. as a worker on Mike and Sully's scare floor, whose target child is a young Mary Gibbs, a.k.a. Boo. Um, a toddler who is obviously understandably very scared of him because, well, he's her monster. And throughout the course of the film, while she's in the monster world, he's trying to capture her, but not to scare her, to torture her. And it's also revealed that to do this, he has teamed up with the head of the company, Henry J. Waternoose the Third. The real villain of the film. We'll get to him possibly in the next episode. <laughs> if not, then a later one. And, of course, we see the beginning of the enmity between Mike, Sully and Randall at the end of Monsters University. Throughout that whole film, he goes by the short name Randy. But he's the same character. He starts out as Mike's roommate and best friend and, as the film goes on, becomes his enemy. It's like... This is creepy bios. We're not supposed to be talking about the good guys of the films here. The bad guys and the bad guys only. So, okay, that is, of course, getting back to the character at hand, Randall Boggs. Eventually, he and Waternoose are caught in the act by Mike watching them on the uh, security screens. I'll kidnap a thousand children before I let this company die. Yeah, but this isn't about Waternoose, this is about Randall Boggs. Who is eventually then banned, banished from the monster world. He's tossed through a doorway. Yeah. Into the human world. And thus ends the bio of Randall Boggs. Okay, join me again next week as we will talk about the other villain, the main villain, that is, of Monsters, Inc., Mr. Waternoose. Until then, thanks for watching. I hope you weren't too scared. <laughs>